Sean O'Connor, 152 Hickory Corner Road, apartment 313, East Windsor, New Jersey. Uh, first, I did want to make a few commendments as well, uh, Dr. Baker, for uh, noting that Common Core is a contentious issue, uh, one to be mindful of, and uh, wanted to uh, thank you. Uh, I forget the individual you named who had uh, found cap caps and gowns that would uh, bring a cost. So yes. Wanted to nice thank nice you nice. for that. That's great. And also, sorry, I wanted to commend your presentation. I found it very uh, thorough and informative, and I, I really appreciated that. And I, I just wanted to know, obviously tonight's running a little late, so I'm not going to say so much. I just wanted to know in general if anybody, if any of you had some thoughts you wanted to share in general on the Common Core State Standards. Uh, I understand you sent a letter out. I don't have a child yet, so I wouldn't have gotten that letter. So. And I thought that we were going to have copies of the letter here for any members of the public who wanted to see it. Is that on the website? I don't know, no, but I, I know that we had talked about it. I don't have, I have, I may have one copy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know that we had talked about it. But I think most people have received the letter. I don't think it's 20 people who would not have received the letter. Maybe I could just email you and get yeah, a yeah, I mean, email send you, you know, the back page. Okay, that, that would be... I don't want to give you my only copy. Right, yeah, I totally understand that. Uh, Next, I just wanted to share with you some concerns from parents who uh, couldn't be here tonight, uh, who I was speaking with. Uh, one had told me that his, his child was uh, denied the opportunity to call during an after-school activity, to inform him that he was going to be at that after-school activity. And uh, th this gentleman just wanted me to express to you that he finds this unacceptable. I don't know all of the, the details of the situation, just, I am curious about the policy that exists presently with respect to uh, making phone calls, students making phone calls uh, in uh, after school, at after school activities. I apologize, I'm a little tired today. Uh, so if, if you could speak on that. And then, uh, just a last concern here. Another parent expressed concern to me about uh, a lack of dress code enforcement. That's just one person who has said that, so I wouldn't know the details about that, but if that could be something that you might want to consider looking into, I would appreciate that. I would appreciate that if you have conversations with parents who have concerns, that you ask them to contact the principal or the superintendent or whoever it is within the district to be able to address those concerns um, directly. That, that seems to me a, a, you know, a, a less convoluted way of dealing with whatever concerns sure, that arise of parents may have. Okay, thank you very much. Are there any other members of the public who wish to speak at this time? If there are none, I'm going to move on to the next order of business, which is item 12. Uh, is Jimmy were to talk about that? Uh, item 13. Yeah, I'm sorry, Alice, if we have questions about it, I didn't Sure, know. absolutely. Because um, I, I held off because I thought it was oh, yeah, so item. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm just trying to see clarity. These are superintending goals, not district goals. Like I know we always have so many layers of goals, and I just want to 